Stay sharp. We're going in. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, rest up and try not to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Everybody seems so happy working here. And it seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. I don't get it. How can it be like this? I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just... Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard... Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon Guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Law's right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. That Kisara woman. She sounded pretty smug about serving Dohalim, didn't she? She still has a run-in for a boss. 
How is that any different from being a slave? Renan society is a meritocracy. To us, it's seen as natural that those who sit at the top rule over the rest. It's the same old wall as the rest of Dana at the end of the day. Just with a different coat of paint. I guess it can change people's attitudes if they can at least serve someone they respect. But they're still being deceived. It's obvious that's what's happening. On the one hand, her loyalty really did seem to be genuine. But on the other hand, Calaglia had its fair share of Danans who just accepted Ren and Rule because it was all they'd ever known. With that in mind, it can be hard to tell if her loyalty truly came about on its own, or if it's just the result of years of subjugation. Who knows? It might clear some things up if we hear what Doholim has to say. Yeah, you're right. Let's make our way to the palace. Inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. I just don't get it. The Danans have endured years of suffering. How could they just turn around and trust the Renans all of a sudden? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess they must have a pretty good reason, right? Like what? What could erase 300 years of pain and suffering? Maybe it's precisely because they suffered for so long that they see Dohalim as something of a savior. Hey, whose side are you on here, Alfin? Relax, Rinwell. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't jump to assumptions about these people until we know more about the situation. Hmm. <laughs> I just don't get it. Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword. The liberator of Calaglia. You do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> You did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering, and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword... I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still... Your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. <clears throat> Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests if you would be so kind. 
As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time either. What's gotten into you? <sighs> hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly. But on my own, even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people. The fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danans are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danan coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elder Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. <laughs> It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? 
I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. <laughs>